Hi, this is Bhavik Desai from the Nutanix Tech Marketing Team. And today I'll be showing you how easy it is to do upgrades using Nutanix Lifecycle Manager or LCM. So let's get started. What I have over here is a 12 node cluster doing some IO. So let's take a look at that. The cluster has 12 nodes with uh, each node having a VM, uh, which is doing some IO using Nutanix's X-Ray workload generation tool. And as you can see, uh, it's doing about 10,000 IOPS uh, and about half a millisecond latency. So now let's go and see how to do upgrades uh, using LCM. Now this cluster is running LCM version 2.3.4.1. Uh, what uh, LCM gives you is a way to inventory uh, resources on your cluster in terms of uh, what software and what firmware versions for your hardware are running. So once you do a uh, perform inventory, it will go out and collect all that information for you and list it over here, which I've already done uh, beforehand. Now, let's look at uh, the firmware versions. So your, you, as you can see, uh, it lists out uh, the firmware versions that can be upgraded to for every individual node. So you can either select an individual node or select all the nodes at one go to update uh, whatever um, hardware uh, piece that you want to upgrade uh, its firmware for. Um, now let's look at uh, the software versions. So as you can see, you can upgrade your hypervisor, AOS version, and other things like NCC. So let's go ahead and do an AOS upgrade while we have that workload running. So we'll select the AOS version. As you can see, it's running 5.18.1, and we want to upgrade it to 5.18.1.1. Yeah, LCM will go out and check available versions um, for uh, the software that can be upgraded to, which I've already done. Then I'll hit update. And it will list out uh, uh, a few uh, uh, messages about uh, what to expect. So what will happen is uh, once I hit next, the software, uh, AO software will be installed on every node and then once that is done, the cluster will go through a rolling reboot of every node, passing the upgrade the token so that uh, the workload remains consistent and is not affected while the upgrade is running. So let's go ahead and do that. Just a message, message about if uh, the cluster is registered with Prism, Prism Central, that needs to be upgraded first uh, to a compatible version. And we'll go ahead and start the upgrade process. Well, before doing the upgrade process, the cluster will go through a bunch of pre-check uh, operations, pre-upgrade operations to make sure uh, the everything is compatible and the cluster can be upgraded uh, uh, for, for to the required uh, version that we want the upgrade to go to. So once the pre-check operation finishes, it's gonna go out and download uh, the software version. And once it finishes the download operation, it will start the upgrade operation, as you can see over here. Now that the download operation is completed, now it's gonna go through the upgrade operation on every individual node. The admin can let the upgrade task keep running in the background uh, one at a time. Let's go back and take a look at the, the task screen. As you can see now that uh, the cluster has gone through its pre-upgrade steps and now it's uh, going through upgrading the individual CVMs on every node and doing the node upgrade task uh, for every node. And once uh, all the nodes have been upgraded, the LCM uh, finishes the upgrade operation as you can see over here. So end to end, it took about uh, two hours to upgrade and touch all nodes without any uh, user or admin intervention except for starting the upgrade operation. And let's go back and look at the tasks over here. As you can see, it went through and upgraded all the CVMs uh, and all the nodes uh, across the cluster in about uh, uh, two hours, as I said. And going back and looking uh, at the workload, the workload was consistent uh, throughout the entire upgrade operation uh, uh, the user uh, uh, IO was not affected at all and the admin had, was free to do other tasks as required 
without paying attention uh, to the bureaucracy because the system was taking care of all of it. As you saw, doing a bridge on Italics is so easy with LCM that admins can do it during business hours with workloads running and can get their nights and weekends back. Thank you.